Good morning, beautiful people of the internet. So I just got up. It is Saturday and this is my very first attempt at vlogging. So we'll see how this goes since I decided I was gonna do weekend vlogs since I work a lot during the week. So I'm looking real cute but it is about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm about to get up, start my day. I'm going to do my skincare and I'm gonna go get ready, put my makeup on, and I am going to go get some coffee because I need coffee in my life to function. I might be going to Half Price Books or Barnes & Noble today. I'm not sure which one. I shouldn't buy any more books because I already have a really big TBR but I can't help it. I'm gonna go do that. And I am in between five books right now. <laughs> and one of them I should be able to finish today, which is, I believe it's Capture and Protect by Rena Morgan, which is book three of the Haven Brotherhood series. It's either a new adult or an adult romance. And I am really enjoying it. I have been binging those books so hard. I am gonna get up. If you hear noises in the background, it's my puppies. They're eating. It's breakfast time. Either I'll probably end up getting coffee at Barnes & Noble or I'll get coffee somewhere near my house and then go to Half Price Books. And I also might hit up Ulta and Sephora today, so we'll see. We'll see what today has in store because I woke up with a lot of energy. I usually don't. I'm gonna get up. My puppies are gonna finish their breakfast and I am going to get ready, fix my face, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I might have taken a little bit longer than I wanted to. It is now noon and I have not left my house because I got stuck into finishing my audiobook of Claim and Protect by Rena Morgan not capture and protect. Like I said, that is the third book in the Haven Brotherhood series. I just finished it and, and I gave it another 4.5 stars. So far, every single book of that series has been a 4.5 stars. I can't bring myself to give it a full five stars because there are things that are wrong with the series. There's minor plot holes in every single book, but other than that, this has to be one of my new favorite romance series. So I am going to get up and I'm going to get out of my house. I decided I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and I'm going to get Starbucks there and browse around. It is noon. I'm going to get up and I'm also going to get food because I'm hungry. And I want to come back and I want to get more into Talon. So earlier I said I was into five books. Claim and Protect was one of them. I just finished it. And another one is Talon by Julie Kagawa. And if you guys have seen my review on Shadow of the Fox, you know that Julie Kagawa has become one of my favorite fantasy writers. I loved Shadow of the Fox so much. I started Talon yesterday. I bought it on my Kindle, so I'm reading the ebook of it. So far so good, but I'm only in like three or five percent of the book, so I want to get further into that book, especially because that has to deal all with dragons. I also have to do a lot of pre-filming just so that way I have videos to edit so I can put on my channel. This booktube thing, uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of it even though I've been on here for several months already. I'm being very comfy today, so I'm just wearing a sweatshirt, hoodie type thing, and jeans. Anyway, a lot of rambling. Let's go to Barnes & Noble. All right, guys, we are here. No incidents, thankfully. <laughs> so let's go and get to book shopping. So. There is so many choices, and a lot of these I already have, so that's kind of embarrassing. Oops. Decisions, decisions. So I'm very overwhelmed with a lot of books, and I'm just in the YA section, but I found some good ones. So let's keep on shopping. Hello, it is now two o'clock 
in the afternoon. I got to Barnes & Noble at around 12.30ish. I just spent an hour and a half in Barnes & Noble. <laughs> I did some damage. I did some damage, you guys. I got a lot of new releases and a lot of books that I just really wanted in my collection. And one of the books that I got, I was so excited that they had it out early. It's supposed to come out on November 6th. And they had it out early, so I bought it and I'm excited. It's another one of my most anticipated releases of the year. So, I have two bags worth of books. This is what I love. I'm not too sad about that. So. I'm gonna go get some food and I was gonna go to Ulta to buy some things that I need but I'm gonna go ahead and just do that online this car that's parking next to me almost hit my car so that's awesome I am about to go get some food and I'm gonna go home and I will show you the books that I bought it'll be like a mini Barnes & Noble haul so I will check in with you guys in a little while so I'm home and you bet your ass that your girl got some Taco Bell because it's cheap and I was really in the mood for some tacos. Come on babies, let's go outside. They are so energetic every time I tell them to go outside. Hey baby. So I just finished eating my Taco Bell and I want to show you the books that I got from Barnes & Noble. I ended up buying a combination of middle grade YA and adult but mostly the bulk of what I bought was YA. Let's start with middle grade and then work our way to adult. The first book that I have is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This is about a town who sacrificed a baby to this witch every year so that way they don't get on her bad side however she is actually a good witch and the babies that have been sacrificed to her she ends up sending them to a better town and a better life when she sends these babies to their new home she gives them starlight however she accidentally gives a baby moonlight and that gives that baby extraordinary magic and power so she decides to raise that baby as her own and the story just goes from there. So I just thought this sounded like a really cute read especially now for the fall winter time. So the next middle grade book that I got is Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner. This is a middle grade graphic novel about a boy who ends up meeting a girl named Nia and he ends up having a crush on her and he finds out that she's all into vampires so he decides to dress up as a vampire not knowing that Nia actually is a slayer of vampires so she doesn't like them for the reason that he thinks. It just seems like a very hilarious read. So now we're getting into the YA territory. The first book that I have on this stack is The Agony House by Sherry Priest and illustrated by Tara O'Connor. So this I thought was super intriguing and super cool because this is a mixture of a comic and a novel. So it has your regular writing on the page and then there's a chapter that's graphic novel. This is about a family who moves back to their house in New Orleans after relocating due to Hurricane Katrina. They come back and they put all of their money into renovating their house to become a bed and breakfast so they can make some money and rebuild their lives. However, when they come back, they notice that the house that they left is not the same as how they left it. And there are weird incidents that are happening in this house. Our main character doesn't think anything of it though until things go beyond old creaky floorboards to strange things just happening in the house that can't be explained. One day she's in her attic and she finds a concealed comic book that can unravel all of the mysteries of why things are happening in her house that she can't explain. Also, if you take off the dust jacket when you open it, the art is actually on the book. Next up is Anna and the Apocalypse by Katherine Turner with Barry Waldo. This is basically a horror black comedy. Anna and her friends are 
getting ready to graduate however there is a zombie apocalypse that ends up happening and the main heart of where this is happening is their high school so they have to journey to this high school to try and defeat all of these zombies the fact that this has a christmas tree in the back just makes me want to read this during the holidays so um, I might be a little weird. That's not everybody. I also got Blanca y Roja by Anna Marie Mecklemore. In this book, we follow two sisters who are under some sort of curse where they are tied to these swans in a forest near their home. They both are complete opposites from each other and they're both going to be going through their own trials and tribulations. One will be a victor. They will stay a human while the other is turned into a swan and is gonna join the swans in the forest. However, two boys show up meddling in whatever plans these two had to fight this curse. I think this was inspired by Swan Lake or something like that. I'm curious to see what the dynamic between these two are and how they handle their sisterhood since both of them are so different. The next book that I decided to buy was Strange Grace by Tessa Gratton. This is about a village who made a deal with the devil a long time ago to ensure prosperity and the deal that they made requires that they sacrifice a young man every slaughter moon except for one year when the slaughter moon comes up early and there is some sort of conflict on who is going to be sacrificed the next one that i got i was really surprised because like i said i was just roaming around the ya aisle and i found this one and that is the good demon by jimmy cajolias cajolias please correct me i have no clue how to say that name it wasn't technically an exorcism, what they did to Claire. When the Reverend and his son ripped her demon from her, they called it a deliverance. But they didn't understand that Claire and her demon, known simply as her, were like sisters. She comforted Claire, made her feel brave, helped to ease her loneliness. They were each other's only. Now, Claire's only comforts are the three clues that she left behind. Be nice to him. June 20th remember the stories. Claire will do anything to get her back, even if it means teaming up with the Reverend's son and scouring every inch of her small southern town for answers. But if she sacrifices everything to bring back her demon, what will be left of Claire? The next book that I bought is Girl at the Grave by Terry Bailey Black, and this is a YA thriller. This is about a girl whose mom murdered one of the most powerful men in her town and was sent to the gallows to die. Now she lives with her father, but she is basically ignored. So she fends for herself. She is now a top student at this academy that she attends. And she thinks that her past has been put behind her until a string of murders start to happen. And everybody points to the daughter of a murderer. She ends up finding solace and a friend in the son of the man that her mother murdered which she then ends up deciding that she wants to clear her family's name she wants to know what really happened why her mother did what she did she ends up making it her mission to find the real killer of the string of murders that are happening and she ends up finding that a lot of things are not what they seem. And last in the YA category, which is another one of my most anticipated reads of 2018. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it up. I talk about that a lot more there. But this was supposed to come out on November 6th. My Barnes & Noble had it out before. Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nunn. I think that's how you say the last name. Please don't kill me. I have been waiting for this book for so long. This is a fantasy and it is a female-female romance. You guys, look at that. Look at how pretty. Like I said, I've already talked about this book in a previous video, but really quick synopsis. There are different classes in this world and paper girls are the lowest class. Our main character has a very distinctive feature, which are her golden eyes. Those golden eyes end up intriguing the king who then decides to take her as 
a consort to be part of his harem. To not put her family in danger, she follows this man and while she is in the quarters with the rest of the consorts, she ends up meeting someone who she ends up having some feelings for. These last two books are my adult books that I got. So I was going through the adult aisles and I found this hunker of a book by Miyuki Miyabe and it's called Brave Story. Honestly, I got it because of the cover art. Look at how cool that is. And if you look at the back, you can see the little monsters. It's a Japanese translated work. This book is about our main character, Wataru, who he flees his messed up life to navigate the magical world of vision, a land filled with creatures both fierce and friendly. His ultimate destination is the Tower of Destiny, where a goddess of fate awaits. Only when he has finished his journey and collected five elusive gemstones will he possess the demon's bane, the key that will grant him his most heartfelt wish, the wish to bring his family back together again. And last but not least, I ended up getting Nosferatu by Joe Hill. This is kind of a horror slash thriller slash magical realism. It's about Victoria Vic McQueen has an uncanny knack for finding things. When she rides her bicycle over the rickety bridge in the woods near her house, she always emerges in the places she needs to be. Vic doesn't tell anyone about her unusual ability. Charles Talent Manx has a gift of his own. He likes to take children for rides in his 1938 Rolls Royce Wraith with the vanity plate Nosferatu. In the Wraith, he and his innocent guests can slip out of the everyday world to an astonishing playground of amusements he calls Christmasland. Mile by mile, the journey across the highway of Charlie's twisted imagination transforms his precious passengers, leaving them as terrifying and unstoppable as their benefactor. And then comes the day when Vic goes looking for trouble and finds her way, inevitably, to Charlie. Now the only kid ever to escape Charlie's twisted imagination is all grown up and desperate to forget. But Charlie Manx hasn't stopped thinking about Vic McQueen. On the road again, he won't slow down until he's taken his revenge. I was super intrigued by this. I just can't wait. And I hope that you guys like like this little mini haul. Um, I have another bigger haul coming where you'll see these. I just won't talk about them as much because I've already talked to you guys about them here. I think I'm gonna take a break from Talon really quick and I'm going to read the graphic novels that I just got because I really want to read Fake Blood. And then I'm probably gonna keep reading Talon to make more progress on that. We'll see if I how much I like the first book if I'm willing to continue the series or not. Those are my plans for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and grab something to drink since my throat is kind of dry. I'm gonna get a snack and I'm going to read my graphic novels. I'm sitting on the floor right now. I see my little babies in their beds. They're just sleeping. Must be nice to live that life. Right, Jackson? Right, babies? That's my old man. This is my old man. My life would not be the same without my old man's. Luna, <laughs> I can see you. I can see you. Okay, she was being shy. Whoop! Why are you hiding your handsome face? My little babies. Oh! <laughs> oh, I got the belly. Yes, I do. I got their little bellies. She gives me the bellies. Bless you. Skin. You bless you. So a lot of you have been asking about the room tour where my books are at and it is coming. It's just I have a lot to deal with right now. And like I said, I'm going through a certain project where I'll be unhauling books and I'm actually like moving books around again. I'm going to be moving things around because more books are coming into my collection and there's a lot of them. It's getting out of control and I just bought more. So yeah, my life is a mess. So I'm reading Fake Blood, right? There is this part where our main character, AJ, is talking to his crush at school and they got paired up to do a project together and he is going to his sister's room to get a vampire book that she has. Guys, tell me why. What is that? Does that remind you of anything? Because I'm dying. I mean... 
accurate. I'm in my bedroom and I was reading and halfway through I fell asleep. <laughs> but I just finished Fake Blood and it was cute. Like I said, it's a middle grade graphic novel and it's about our main character AJ who is in sixth grade and he's a huge book nerd and he likes this girl named Nia who loves anything having to deal with vampires and one day he decides that his life is going to be more exciting and his life is just gonna change and he is going to become something which appeals to Nia so he starts transforming himself into a vampire by wearing makeup to make himself look tired and having fake blood to put on his teeth and Nia ends up taking an interest in him and one day AJ ends up finding that the reason that he finds vampires so intriguing is because she's not supposed to like them because she is wanting to be a vampire slayer and we find out that there might be an actual vampire in their midst i just finished it it was cute it was entertaining for being a graphic novel and for being a middle grade i'm giving this a 3.5 because it was entertaining and it was cute it was extremely fast paced and i'm glad i read it i'm glad i own it apart from my little blip of taking a nap i have a little bit more energy and after reading Fake Blood. I am now going to read The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is about a prince who likes to wear dresses and I guess like his best friend or his crush is the dressmaker. I'm intrigued because of the fact that the prince wears dresses. So I am excited to read this. So I'm gonna get up and move around. And I think later on we might, we might go and get some Froyo. I'm not sure. If not, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep reading. Hopefully it's as cute as I think it's gonna be. So I decided to take a little break because my head is actually starting to hurt. So I am just sitting on my couch and watching YouTube, which shout out to Samantha Ravendahl. She's amazing. I love her. She makes me laugh a lot. So I've been catching up on YouTube and watching some TV shows with Brandon since he got home so I stopped reading. My head was hurting. I just needed to chill and thankfully my headache is going away but right now I just want to spend time with Brandon. So uh, we ended up coming to Chili's. I got a to-go order because I am starving and it is dinner time so he's picking it up for me. And we're just gonna go home and just relax and keep watching my YouTube and catching up on videos. Thank you, baby. Got the Cajun shrimp pasta. We're just gonna go home and just chill out, relax with our dogs and call it a night. And I'm going to get rid of this makeup on my face. If I don't check in again by the end of the night, I will check in tomorrow morning. I'm gonna do the other eye just like this off camera and I'm gonna toss on some lashes and then we're gonna come back. All right, so lashes are on. I love the way this looks, it's so pretty. For me, when I feel like I don't really know what to do, I'm kind of, I'm just trying to explain. Good morning. So I ended up falling asleep last night after eating. It is Sunday and it is a beautiful day out here. I am about to go inside, get ready, go get some breakfast, get some coffee, and I am also going to take some medicine because I woke up with a really bad headache. I am planning on reading the Prince and the Dressmaker graphic novel and I want to get a little bit more into Talon. I also have a lot of videos that I need to edit. We'll see how much I can get done today. There's a lot of things that I want to do today. There's a lot of goals that I have set. So we'll see how far I can get and how many of them I can get done. Okay, so now I am alive and I haven't gotten coffee yet, but I did take medicine and it is helping my head. Sundays are usually my laundry day. 
So I went ahead and put a pile of clothes into the washer and came into my room. I was messing around with some of the books over here on this corner since I am, this is a huge project that I'm doing with my bookshelves, especially since Christmas time is right around the corner. There was a special uh, way that I wanna decorate my shelves for that. I started the audiobook for the fourth book in the Haven Brotherhood series, which now this is on to the character of Knox. I've been listening to the audiobooks of this series. I am just flying through them. I'm on book four. I started it while I was in here just working and I am now going to go get uh, some food because I am starving and hopefully it'll help with the pain in my head and the medicine to work faster. When I come back, I am going to edit some of my videos a little bit and I'm gonna keep listening to the audiobook. And then later on in the afternoon, I wanna go ahead and finish The Prince and the Dressmaker and get further on with Talon. <laughs> always ask me like what kind of music do you listen to well I can tell you I just got home. I'm so excited. I got my food. I had I had to. I just had to. I, I had a hankering for Whataburger. So I just came back to my room, finished eating, put another load of laundry into the washer and move that to the dryer. So that's off my checklist. Now I'm sitting on my desk. As you can see, my vanity is completely wrecked because I use it all the time. And now, hey, so now I'm here editing the third and final part of my summer book haul. This just goes to show how well and how much I love to edit videos because this is from summer. From the summer. I'm hoping I can do most of it so that way I can either upload it tomorrow or the day after. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's gonna take me a couple of hours at least and then I am going to read my graphic novels and relax. Well, my computer decided to update with the new Apple, I think MS Mojave or OS Mojave, I think it's what it's called. So now I am organizing my vanity. That's how my afternoon is going since this is what's happening to me right now. So it is a couple hours later. My eyes are hurting so bad. I have been staring at the screen for a long time just editing this video and I also did clean up a little bit more on my vanity. It doesn't really look like it, but I did. I got a little creative, moved some stuff around. I am extremely tired. All I want to do is just relax, wait for the laundry to be done, hang that up, and then just read. I just want to unwind and hopefully I can stay awake to finish the Prince and the Dressmaker. That's what I'm hoping to do today. It has been a very productive Sunday, so I'm glad for that. I still have some, some minor stuff to do here. Yeah, it goes all the way that way. We'll see where I am in a in a couple hours. So it is the end of the night. I have gone and taken off my makeup, got into comfy clothes, and I am ready for bed. I didn't read the graphic novel. The pain in my head just really never went away. And I just wanted to relax and chill out. I was just so tired. So I went ahead and just listened to a lot of the fourth book of the Haven Brotherhood or in the beginning this series was called the Haven Brotherhood and then later on it was changed to the Men of Haven so I'm not sure what the name of this series is but it either one of the two Men of Haven or the Haven Brotherhood I am on book four which is Tempted and Taken 
and I listened to a big bulk of that. This series, you guys, if you are into new adult or adult romances, I highly recommend this series. I just started this series maybe like three or four days ago and I'm already about to finish the fourth book. These are so addictive. They're so good. I highly recommend the audiobooks though. The first two books are on Scribd if you guys are subscribed to Scribd and the rest of them I'm listening to on Audible since I had some credits. Also the first two books are narrated by Gary Furlong I believe and then the last three are narrated by someone else. They change narrators after the first two books but both men have done such a good job in narrating these books. I will say these are very not safe for work type of audiobooks unless you have the best poker face where you won't show any emotion then I dare you guys to listen to this at work because I don't have a good poker face and I listen to these at work and you bet your ass that, that I'm giggling and cringing and yeah, it's a good time. I decided to come back and do my final check-in for this first weekend vlog. Hopefully it's not super boring. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and I am going to go to sleep. I am tired. My head just needs the rest. I hope that you guys enjoyed my very first vlog. I hope that you guys are doing great. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Stay safe, stay happy. I will see you later.